everyone, this is Luke again, and welcome back to yet another Try Not To Cry The Jago Challenge video. This is probably going to be the last one I do because there really isn't much you can do with this type of Ninjago content. But I just wanted to explore it for a week. Um, and since I upload three times a week, I thought it's perfect, you know, for a week, for a week's videos to do this challenge. Um, so this is the longest saddest Ninjago moments um, that was recently made only a year or two ago. By Mana More Cole, aka Nelly, if you know her. Um, and this was her opinion about what from least sad to most sad. So, but I don't want to view it as that. I don't want to view it as that. Um, I, to me, I see it as sort of like a run the gauntlet sort of challenge to see how bad, how far I can make it without tearing up, you know? Um, I did see another one that talked about the four saddest Ninjago moments. I thought about doing that one, but then I was think like, the, if, the, if, I don't remember much of this video, but if they include some of those scenes in there, it's kind of pointless to have that video because then they'll just be in this one. So, um, let's just start ahead. So, I did skip a little bit, as you see here, because I didn't want you to bore you with her intro explaining what because I basically already did that, so, uh, yeah. By the way, this was made before Chris, when Chris Lies was still new, so, that's why you'll see this. I wonder if Skylar and Dareth got the news. Do you think they'll come? I think so. Destructive. Less destructive? Can you believe yeah. what the yeah, I forgot about that. Kirby's final words versus Andrew's first. Yeah, that hurts. That does hurt me inside, knowing that that was his last one. Especially considering right in that episode, there's the trivia in it. That's like a punch to the balls, if I'm being honest. Grief takes many shapes and forms. Some sing and dance. Some climb mountains. Why did you climb the mountain? I can see this one as well. And I'll find you, Master. Great epic line delivery from the late Gerby Morrow. Um, so yeah, I definitely see this one because she is also a Cole fan, so doesn't surprise me. We went to the canals in Ninjago City okay. to give food to the poor. I can't see this one. I'm sorry. I this. This whole dynamic, I like the fight itself, but I hate the dialogue. I hate the dialogue because, to me, this was when they should have stopped the Lloyd and Harumi stuff. This is where they should have stopped it for good. You know, I'm in my opinion, the in the perfect world, they should have stopped it after season nine. But I don't know why they decided to continue into season eleven and season twelve. But that's just me. The real Harumi would have remembered that. You're not Harumi. I mean, I can guess it's emotional for him, but it's not emotional for me. You know, it's all about me, not what the characters think. It's about what I think. It's what about the viewers think? Chris Lai spoilers again. Sorry for the bad audio. Man, they just totally screwed us over with this. They really wanted to pander to a certain set of Ninjago fans, who, in my opinion, don't deserve to be pandered to, and really just decided to say, screw you to all of this development, we're making it a thing. Especially that dialogue, that dialogue was not it. Um, but, to be fair, it does make sense for Lloyd to be in love with her, but not Harumi to be in love with him. That's where the problem is. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I wish she did it later, though. I wish she did it later in the... In the 
I wish she did it later in the in the season. I wish she did it later because then it would have made it more emotional rather than doing it in the second episode. Stop. <laughs> oh no! Why did you do that to me? That hurts. That hurts. I, I, I feel my soul my soul is dying every time I see this. My soul dies every time I see this. Because it hurts so much. This should have been number one, honestly. Melly, this should have been number one because this was a real life person that died and that's way more sad than any fiction ever. Er, I'm the one who spotted... Speaking of Cole. Hey, watch it. You guys are walking right through me. They don't hear me or see me. It's like I don't exist anymore. They don't realize I'm gone. Maybe I'm departed. Ooh. Hi. Oh. This one was more wholesome than sad. I don't believe it. That makes two of us. Nia, my baby girl. How you've grown. I... I missed you. Take the sword, Kai. I can't hold Sorry. it much longer. Lloyd? They already did this once in the premiere, so it didn't quite hit the Lloyd. same. Of course. That was one of the, in that four status Ninjago moments video, this was one of them. I mean, I will say though, I gotta give credit where credit is due. I may not have liked what came after this, but I'll say this. The actual scene itself, it's perfect. They did it so magnificently well that you can't replicate that sort of thing. Like, no audible dialogue here, just the music playing in the background. That's perfect. We must leave here and destroy the this one hurts. Save Ninjago. Save the realms. But if I destroy it, it could destroy you. Whatever happens to me, wherever I am, I will always be with you. There comes a time when I miss Sensei Garbodon so much. He needs to come back. Isako, what speaking you of it. <laughs> speaking of it. Have. Tell Lloyd I'm sorry. You can tell me yourself. If anyone I already got you some in my eye right now. I yearn to make the world in my image. I never realized I already had in you. One of the greatest lines in the series. My father is somewhere in there. I can't. You okay. Once. You lost me here. I'll Sorry. This was there not emotional to me at all. Although I will say the last part is, but the whole thing is not. Because if you look at it through the context of the episode, Lloyd was such a dumbass in this episode. Why in the world would he think going against this newly formed Garmadon solo was a good idea. I understand he had the process of, I saved him once, I could do it again. But it's like, this ain't the same version that you know. They've been telling you that. Why couldn't they? Why couldn't they? Now, had they um, did something like, have them all go, and then, and then Lloyd does it, then I can understand, because then we would kind of have the best of both worlds, you know? Or you could have all the ninja fighting Garbodon and the Lloyd versus Garbodon fight. But then again, some people are like, well, you can't mess with perfection. It's not perfection. Sorry. Your son. I have no son. Heartbroken. Okay. Okay, yeah, I can see this one. But to me, this one was more satisfying than anything else. 
And it kind of feels a little sudden, but I understand what they were doing with this. Because I actually cheered for her death, because she was... She was a bitch. <laughs> falling building. This is where the Lloyd Harumi sh stuff should have stopped. Right after here. Anything else, it can be mentioned, but it's just that, a mention. Which I guess is what they did, but it did, it felt less of a mention and more f so with actually continuing the arc. And Crystallize proved me right with that assessment. I am Lloyd oh, Garmadon. forgot about this Son one. Garmadon, student of Sensei Garmadon. He made me who I am today. He was my father. He was my adversary. But in the end, he was my friend. Because of him, we will live to see tomorrow. And for every tomorrow, we'll live to honor him. <laughs> oh yeah, this is in Polish? This is not sad at all. Sorry, this is not sad. It's funnier when it's in a different language as well. Okay, yeah, I can kind of see this one. The thing is, though, they didn't make me believe that they were dead because we knew what was going on. So, I can understand it if it was from the character's perspective, but it, I also view this from a viewer's perspective, so. That tear, though. You can't mess with the tear. This whole thing. I've done this one before, but. It always stings when you this happens. You can save those who want to be saved. Goodbye, Sensei. You have to make of course, wish. of course, you have to You're include this one, even no, if it never lasted. That means losing you. I never wanted to be part of your boys' club anyway. No, Mia. Don't say that. Yes, it's true. The greatest love stories do always end in tragedy. Mm. Mm. Man, he loves her so I wish much. You were taken by hand, and no one ever found that teapot in the first place. This is the last recording of saying that was also on that Mr. video. <laughs> This is one of the few times where um, I really like the usage of the Zane Death soundtrack. Because a lot of the times they overuse this track. And I feel like it's disrespectful to that track because it's such a beautiful one. And, but I really like the usage no of this one. Regrets. I have the best friends anyone could ask for. Pixel, I love you. Farewell. That is a risk I am willing to take. If this doesn't work, please tell Zane. I love him. Pixel! Pixel, no! Oof. Oof. No! I hate that this part gets memed me. on. No! No! I want you to promise me, Cole, that you will always stand up to those who are cruel. And I'm just always. I promise, Mom. Always. My heart's so hurting because of this. Of course. Support me, friends. Of course. I knew this was coming. Let my <laughs> friends go. This isn't about numbers. It's about family. I am a ninjroid and ninja. Never quit! Go, Ninja! Go! What are you doing? 
Are you gonna hit the notes? Yep, you did hit the notes. Oh yeah. She had to remove it because of it being copyright. Damn you, YouTube copyright system. <laughs> an added bonus um i'm gonna include some of these sad sad moments so this one um and so which is armadillo look Ooh, this is you are stealing dad my friends are risking their lives to save ninjago and you go behind their backs to gain an advantage i'm sorry but I can't help it. Ever since the Devourer bit me, evil runs through my blood. You left me for so long. Where did you go? Son, there are places in this world void of any good. Dark places. Is that where Sensei found you? You know how I've always wanted those golden weapons. Well, this place allowed me the power to possess them. But why didn't you take me with you? Every boy has a choice to grow up to be whoever they want to be. But I never had that choice. Because I was bitten, evil runs through my veins. But you still have a choice. You don't need to be like me, Lloyd. Your uncle has a plan for you. And even though it may be to stop me one day, we have to follow our own destiny. And after I help the ninja stop Python, Out. Go back to whatever evil place you came from. All right, Operation Stealth was a total bust. We're gonna need reinforcements. Anyone there? We don't want your help, and we don't need you here. Maybe it would have been better if you hadn't come back at all. If, if that's what you feel. Lloyd and Gamora, season one and season two, are so heartbreaking. They're so heartbreaking. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Lloyd comes in the last second to save everybody. Damn, he yeeted them. his vulnerable state. He's like, fish me off, son. Fish me off. <laughs> but he couldn't do it. He couldn't bring himself to finish his own dad no, off. What is he doing? They're coming. <laughs> Lloyd, we need to move. The clock is not too far from here. Okay. Okay. Hopefully we get to the next scene. 
farm tree. Okay, what the heck is this? Of course. The final battle has begun. Let's hope he is ready. All this time, everything has led to this. Stupid boy. I've been planning this for thousands of years. This was so brutal back then. wanted the bonus number two to be when Chen reveals that um Garmadon was that forged the letter between um Wu, between hit her him and Wu and him and Wu what the fuck is wrong with me him and Misako and it was originally Wu who wrote the letter because the acting in it was superb, but I decided to go for this as an alternative, where we actually see it in action. Uh, that. Oh, don't look so sad. I've intercepted something that will make you feel better. A love letter. Apparently, your pathetic little brother feels the same about that girl you admire. Misako. His words are so heartfelt. They could sway how she feels about one of you. I didn't write this. I shouldn't be reading it. Didn't you? It could be your name on it. Certainly you feel the same. <laughs> Mom thought that letter was from you. As I've told you, there are things in my past I'm not proud of. 
Yeah, that would hurt because, you know, Lloyd's entire existence was because of this, you know. And it hurts. It hurt not only Garmadon, but Misako as well. And my final bonus for this last episode is Nia's funeral. Because, of course, it was so sad. Saints get way too depressing. Uh, I barely survived. There were moments where I'm like, I'm close. But so my final record for the try not to cry challenge is two wins, one loss. So, um, this one was close. This one was close. But yeah, th this was like your mega big finale episode. Um, uh, I decided to do all of these into this one video instead of doing their own videos because it would have been way too short otherwise. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed this little mini series. Um, hopefully I could think of some more try not to's Ninjago edition. I have some on my laptop on my Chromebook, but anyways, I hope you guys, you know, survive this onslaught of upsetting and very sad moments of Ninjago. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share. Click on the red subscribe button and click on the notification bell to see every video that I will upload. And I'll see all you folks in the next video. Bye-bye.